Um, so ambition for me means working on behalf of um, something larger than yourself and working on behalf of some values or an, an ideal. And to explain that, I'd say, um, you know, regardless of circumstance, all of us have the ability to work on behalf of um, others who are not as well placed or well resourced to make to make an impact. And then I think in terms of an ideal, it's just you know working on behalf of a broader goal, um, having a sort of a broader vision, protecting the environment or protecting human rights. I grew up in New Zealand, so I, I think I was naturally very modest. And still, I still sort of, at a personal level, am very much the same person. But I think in New Zealand, um, we're not necessarily encouraged to to see our, our role in the world. Partly because of the size of the country and the and the um, you know the, the sort of the culture uh, of of society. But I I think I've. I've grown into a, a, I've grown to have a sort of a broader vision of what is possible for the work that we do, um, and in that sense, my ambition has sort of grown larger over time. My vision of what is possible to achieve has grown, grown larger. And has that happened through exposure that you've had to other things, or um, I think just in general, as my my confidence level has grown, I've and and. I have had exposure to different um, contexts outside of New Zealand. Um, I've seen the role that a small group of people can can play in having a disproportionately positive impact in the world, and I think that's sort of helped um, enlarge the scope of the ambition I have for for the work that we do. Okay, can you describe for me the most ambitious person that you know? Uh, I was at a work meeting um, a few months ago where I met Jacinda Ardern and I think she is uh, the most ambitious person I know in the sense that she wants to end child poverty, she wants to reverse climate change and she wants to be a nice human being and she's a model for our, our entire generation. So can you tell me if there's anything that would enable you to be more ambitious? Um, so you know, my wife, my wife and I have a small baby. Um, he's one, one year old now, and you know it's a joy and it's an, it's an amazing experience to have a small child. But it's you know it's a real challenge to try and balance that with our professional careers. Um, she runs a small business, and I you know I'm here at work, and I think you know if society at large could help working parents more, um, that would benefit all all of society. Um, you know, parents could com contribute more to their communities, um, and you know those children could thrive now, and then contribute um, f for all of us when you know when we all grow grow older. You know, so I, th I would say more support to working parents. I think one of the, the most effective traits that Kiwis have in the world is our humility and our ability to. Um, think about how um, our actions affect others. We spend a lot of time listening. We spend a lot of time um, focused on other people. Um, but then I think sometimes that res that uh, results in us sort of being a little shy about what we can achieve as a country and what individual New Zealanders can do. Um, and I think we ha we have to be a little bit more ambitious. As individuals, it's very hard to say that and to do that in practice. But I think the example of Jacinda Ardern wanting to reverse climate change as an ambition uh, in office and want, she wants the whole country to get behind this idea, I think that's an ambitious goal. Um, and the whole of New Zealand can can make an impact and can lead the world. And that's a very you know ambitious thing to say and do. But I think it's something that this moment in history calls for and we are all um, you know we're all invested in that that sort of successful outcome and I think that's an example of um, an ambitious vision for a nation there's a lot of 
best practices in New Zealand that are applicable um, in other parts of the world. Um, and I think New Zealand has a very strong brand um, when it comes to um, you know, gender equality or the protection of um, minority rights. And you know, there's a lot that we could obviously do better and there's a lot that other countries could um, could do better, but you know, New Zealand is a, is a has been and, and continues to be, I think, a leader on human rights, and I think um, it can play a uh, you know like a very constructive role in the world and be a role model for other countries.